everybody, Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my hot coffee today because it was actually kind of chilly when I got up this morning. I think it got down in the 50s last night, but it's going to be a beautiful sunny day. I don't know what I'm going to get done, but I need to get something done, right? Something? <laughs> well, I want to start today's video off with two packages that I picked up from my post office box, not yesterday, but the day before. The first one, and I've already opened these. Sorry, I didn't get to do that thing today. But the first one was actually sent to me by a company who wants me to review this product. And what they are is little solar step lights. Let me just take one out, one or two, and show them to you. There are, well, first of all, let me show you. It's packed really nicely. There's six of them in there. And they all fit nice and snugly. And what they are is solar-powered stair lights. Um, yep, okay, solar powered stair lights are kind of like the, the bigger ones that I have, and they are, they on the back, they've got two little areas where you can hang them up, and this is what the front looks like, this goes towards the sun. Now, I've only got like two, two steps, so I may use just like one, two, three of these on the steps, and then find somewhere else to put the rest of these, depending on how they work. Now, I don't know. I'm assuming that they... That's not a tone. <laughs> I'm assuming that they go on, you know, at a certain time. I don't think that they're motion detectors, so that's okay, because I've got those around the, the house. So, later on today, I'm going to find spots for all these and just kind of see how they work. I guess I should tell you who they came from. They come from Sansy Smart Lighting Incorporated. The product name is Solar Deck Lights. I don't know if you can see that right there. That's the company that sent them to me. I think it's SGLED or something like that. Um, I'll put their information down below so you guys can all see it. And so I'll find places for all these today and try them out and see how they go. The next package. I already know who this is from. It's from Doreen. She had heard me lamenting about trying to figure out a way to connect those hoops. It says, hope the hoops help say say that three times fast. Ha <laughs> ha, best Doreen. This is from Doreen. And what they are is they are little hoopy, clampy thingies. Let me show you. There's a whole bunch of them in here. I don't know how many. But look at that. Little clampy, clippy thingies. Isn't that awesome? This is going to make that whole area over there so much easier because I won't have to use the twisty ties. I have plenty, plenty of them. Let's see how many. Does it say how many there are? <laughs> no, it doesn't say how many there are. It doesn't matter. Um, I can count them, but you don't need to know how many there are. There's just a ton. So I'm going to start using these on the plastic netting around the chicken coop. And it's going to make my life so much easier. So thank you very, very much, Doreen. Okay. What am I going to do today? God, it's so nice. It's so nice. I would just, today would be a great day for fishing. I don't have my Tennessee fishing license yet. It's just not been in the budget. But, um, I don't know. I kind of want to go thrifting. Um... I'm not sure. Um, I'll figure something out and just do it. I did want to show you one thing, though. Remember the pupball mushrooms that I put on the dash of my car, uh, truck, <laughs> rather, to get them dehydrate? Well, I wanted to show you the results, and they aren't that good, and it's my fault. So let me turn this camera around. Here they are. They did definitely dehydrate, but if you notice, some of them are white and some of them have turned brown. And what have I said about pupball mushrooms? When they turn brown, you can't consume them. My mistake was that I did not start the dehydration process when they were 100% fresh. These had already started kind of decaying for a couple of days. It was two days before I was able to chop them up and put them on the dash of my truck. So the ones that are brown, they have decayed, basically. They've decayed to the point where you can't use them dehydrated or not. Um, and if you push on them, well, you, can't, oh, you can't see it, but I can. I can smell it, too. Um, they've already gone to the point where they are ready to release their spores. So although I could probably use some of the ones that are whiter, I'm not going to. I'm just going to take them and put them back in the area where I found them so that maybe their spores can be released into the atmosphere So in hopes that I can get more puffball mushrooms. Yes, it was a disappointment, but 
you know what? You live and learn. The good thing is, is that I know that I can dehydrate things in that manner. But I will just, if it's ever going to be puffball mushrooms again, I have to pick them and then chop them up and dehydrate them right away. And it's going to have to be on a very hot day because you need to get it up to a certain temperature. So, well, live and learn. But I'm going to be able to dehydrate other vegetables and things. I know this. It works. It definitely works on the dash of my truck. That's great because I park it so that the sun is beating down on the windshield and that just brings in that heat. So it's good to know. I learned something, although, oh, Betty, don't. I, I called Judy Betty. Although I wasted a bunch of puffball mushrooms, um, I'm going to commit them back out to the wild, so maybe I'll get more. I learned something. And I also learned that, you know, if, if you're going to harvest mushrooms, don't harvest any more than you either need to study or you can eat in that day. I could have gone back the next day and those mushrooms may have st still been okay. Um, probably not because they start going pr bad pretty quickly. So, anyhow, um, I need to go see what the chickens are up to. I need to fix that little thing um, around the, the door <laughs> that attaches the, the ramp to the door. Um, put those little clippies on install those solar lights and get them charged up so I can see what they're like and well let's just get going well change of plans decided to go into town and maybe go to a thrift store or a discount store or something say hi Don hey everybody say hi Christy hello Christy they've both been on my channel before yay so we're gonna go shopping and hopefully find some some cool stuff that was lame Oh my gosh, there's a dirt cheat, and there's a Goodwill. I'm in heaven. Huh? Hey, Don, you want to show uh, everybody what you got me for my... Ow! Ow! Oh, ow! Ow! Oh, ow! Gotcha. Here, hold it. Turn around. Don, Miss CG gave me this beautiful, beautiful blanket for my bed. Isn't that gorgeous? Happy birthday to me. Thank you, Don. I love it. I'm going to put it on my bed tonight. I love it. We're having a girl's day lunch. Check out where we are. Say hi, Don. Hi, everybody. <laughs> We're at, at Zimba. Mm -hmm. Say hi, Christy. Hi. <laughs> Look at this place. Isn't it great? Isn't it great? It's so pretty. Can you get the booth backs over there? Like the... mm, Taco. Two tacos. Tamale. An enchilada. And you guys got the, what do you call it, chicken? At Zimba Fajitas. At Zimba Fajitas? It's got chicken, chorizo, beef, and shrimp with oh onions and peppers. That's enough food to feed an army. $13.99. Oh that looks so good. Don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> we do not have any alcohol, I swear. Sweet tea. <laughs> As if she ain't sweet enough already. So how did you like the... The girls' day lunch. It was delightful. It was delicious. Thank Muy you so delicioso. much. Thank you, Chrissy. You're thank welcome. you, Christy. Happy I... birthdays. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you guys, you know what? I think that's all. I think that's all I got for you. And I'm not going to take this, this portion again. <laughs> we're, we're done. All right? So, see you in the next video. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs> all right, you guys. <laughs> How did you like your lunch? Delicious. Delicious. It was so delicious. <laughs> it was so good. Well, I think that's all going to be for the. We got to do. So, girls, how'd you like the date? Uh... Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>